Let's look at solving a, a couple of the solved problems out of chapter 7. Uh, the first one deals with utilization. You can see a formula there on the screen for utilization. It's formula 7.2 from the chapter. Uh, this solved problem has two parts. Uh, the first one is given the, the data in the problem statement. Then what's the utilization? Uh, so we'll just make use of this uh, utilization formula here. And the demand rate we're given as 40 per hour. The service rate we're given as 30 per hour. And then two servers. So we'll have 40 divided by 60 or about 0.67. So a 67% utilization. Uh, utilization is the average percent of time that a resource is busy. So these resources would be busy on average 67% of the time. Part two of this is uh, what service rate would be needed for a particular target utilization. And the target utilization is 85%. So it, at 85%, 0 0.85 equals uh, the demand rate is still 40 printers per hour. Uh, we don't know the uh, the service rate. That's what we're solving for. And the number of servers remains at 2. Okay, so if we cross multiply here, we'll get 1.7 uh, SR equals 40 or SR equals about 23.5 and the units of measurement would be the same as we see in the demand rate which would be printers per hour. Okay let's go to the next problem. The This problem and, and the two following it, so the next three problems, all deal with something called Little's Law. Uh, Little's Law is this formula that you see right here that work in process, sometimes thought of as inventory, equals throughput times rate. And so we'll use this, uh, this abbreviation for the formula here. Okay, well in this problem we're told that a voting facility processes an average of 50 people per hour. That's giving us a rate of 50 people per hour. And on average it takes 10 minutes, so that's the flow time. 10 minutes. Uh, notice right away though that we have a throughput in terms of a rate per hour and time in terms of minutes. These need to be in the same unit of measurement. Uh, probably the easiest thing is to take these 10 minutes uh, and convert those to, to hours. And so it would be 1 6 of an hour. Uh, and so in, in this case we're given throughput and time we're really solving for the work in process. What's the average number of voters uh, in the process? So our work in process or inventory would be 50 people or voters per hour uh, times one six of an hour. Uh, and that would give us 8.33 people on on average. Uh, notice that the units of measurements for hours cancel and we're left with with people. And so we should really pay very close attention as we're working these types of problems to maintain the units of measurement, the calculation, and then to know the units of measurement for the answer. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, it's also a, a Little's Law problem. The, the loan department takes six days or two tenths of months to process an application and that uh, there's about 100 applications that are in work at any one point in time. Well the 100 applications in work would be the work in process. Uh, the, the time that it takes, six days, would, would be our, our time. And we're solving for the, the rate at which loans are processed. So remember work in process is a rate times time solving for rate 
uh, we should say rate equals work in process divided by time. Uh, our work in process is 100 applications. Our time is uh, six days or two tenths of a month, so I'll say 0 0.2 months. Okay. So then that would give us a, a number of 500. This is a rate. A rate's always going to be uh, some number of entities per some unit of time. We, uh, we just capture that unit of measurement here, applications per month. Okay, and so the rate at which would be processing applications this loan department would be 500 applications per month. Now let's go to the next one. Uh, this last one that we're, we're solving, we're asked to find the uh, average flow time. And let's see what we're given. 400 pizzas per week, each of which uses one half pound of dough, inventory of 70 pounds of dough. Uh, so now that we know that we're using the, uh, the flow unit that we're talking about is really dough, not pizzas per week, then uh, the, the rate at which we're processing pizzas, 400 per week, the rate at which we're processing dough is 200 pounds per week. And so that's our, our rate. We know our work in process is uh, 70. So again, work in process, rate times time. In this case, we're solving for time. Time would be the work in process divided by the, the rate. Uh, work in process would be 70 pounds. Rate would be 200 pounds per week. Okay, uh, so that would give us a unit of measurement a, uh, a value of 0.35 and what's the unit of measurement if we look over here pounds divided by pounds per week pounds would cancel and we'd be left with 0.35 weeks as our average flow time uh, that's it for for this chapter see you next time